So part of part of this topic is I think I, I think what's going to be rather a controversial premise for a lot of people, which is that there are a lot of ideas in set theory which seem to be apparent paradoxes. And and one of them is is this idea of kind of variance on the idea of what is the set of all sets. Right? And and I think I, I think pretty soon you can kind of see the issue with this type of construction, right? Because you have in set theory, you have the empty set, of course, but then you can have, of course, uh, sets with various objects in them. And and just, just to clarify in our notation, we could say these are equivalent, right? And but then you, you start to run into trouble, right, when you try and define the set of all sets, because that introduces all sorts of logical paradoxes. And and so I think the original formulation of Russell's paradox was was in the form of, of some uh, some situation uh, regarding a barber. So it's it's it does essentially the idea is does the barber who shaves all those who do not shave themselves shave himself, right? But it ends up it ends up reducing down to this question, the question of you know can you define a set of all sets and does it contain itself? And it turns out that you can't define such such a set. So in 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 formal um, set theoretic terms, the set of all sets is the empty set because such a set doesn't exist. And thus it does contain itself by kind of just like this reflexive property of uh, subset inclusion, right? Because all sets, so for any set, that set will, will contain itself, right? Um, so, so, so in any case, so, so, so this is the resolution of Russell's paradox in set theory. And that took, I think, quite a while to, to uncover. I think there was still work being done on this in the 1920s or 1930s, uh, just in terms of what was being done set theoretically for Russell's paradox. But what I think is so interesting, and, and, and what I'm finding frankly bizarre, is that it, it seems to me that category theory solves uh, solves Russell's paradox, and that's kind of the the, con the more controversial point, right? So the claim is that actually category theory provides us with, I, I think, a pretty good answer to this to this question. So if 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 you're, so I think I, I think category theory um, provides a solution to this problem. And I'm not saying it's the only solution. You know, probably there are other ways to define mathematics where you resolve this problem in another way. But I think it's a pretty compelling solution. And and, and so here's here's how I would I would say it out. So if your question is your question about the set of all sets, and you're really interested in the form, formal like axiomatic structure of a given set theory. Uh, but I think we can kind of step back and say, you know, we don't really care about that, right? We're just we're just kind of having in our mind this idea that we can have things like sets, and we can have sets of sets, and there's no problem with that, right? So you can generalize one level up. But then it's it's this extra level of generalization, right, where there's no problem with having nested sets. That's not the issue. The issue is that there's something about the set of all sets where it's it's such a big set that it can't actually be contained within a set, and that's that's the solution in category theory is you say, oh, well, we're just trying to define a mathematical object that we can identify with all of the sets. Um, but we're initially, we're just kind of naive to assume that if you take all sets, then the resulting mathematical object is itself going to be a set. And so that's the answer in category theory is that the, the mathematical object representing all sets is actually a category. And we 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 define this kind of notation, which I'm, I'm not a big fan of because it's just kind of like um, a bit esoteric. But this is this is the mathematical symbol for the category of all sets. And what's really interesting is that uh, in sets, you know, we always have this kind of idea that we want to define um, some kind of like local concept of smallness, right? So if you have a set with a finite number of elements like this set, you can say, oh, well, this set has three elements. Um, 
you know, and then you can also define like indexing schemes. So if you have a set that has an infinite number of elements, but you can get a bijection to the, the natural numbers, that's considered a, a smaller set uh, than if, if, if it's some bijection to the real numbers. Um, so there, there's all sorts of like subtleties within trying to parse out the question of, you know, what's a smaller set versus what's a bigger set. But what's interesting here is that this here, the category of all sets, this is actually only a small category. And so within categories, we distinguish, you have small categories and you have large categories. So there, this is kind of like already should raise some, like, I think some interesting question marks to people like uh, seeing this because this seems kind of crazy, right? You have this notion of the mathematical object representing all possible sets, right? And you'd assume that that just must be some titanic construction and indeed it is because it can't be contained within set theory so you have to define a completely like new type of mathematical object which we call a category and this is kind of like a general notation for for a category uh, but then it's kind of like crazy to see it 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 breaks up even further and you have a further decomposition into small and large categories and this massive object that's only a small category and so then you might ask what's a large category so one example of a large category is the category of all small categories and so it's, it's just kind of like this interesting uh composition here but i think this is this is probably a good point uh to leave it on is this idea of a small and a large category